Today, I'm listening to Piet Arion sing for the very first time. Keep watching. Hi everybody, it's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I write a love letter to my subscribers every Monday. Get your love letter in the description box below. Now let's get started. So I am finally getting around to listening to a list of singers that I have not heard yet. And Piet Arion was definitely on that list. Piet Arion singing S.O.S. Let's dig in. Pourquoi je vis? Pourquoi je Nice. Pourquoi je ris? Pourquoi je pleure? Ooh, I love it. Ooh. Voici la sauvage. Tant de rien en détresse. Et j'ai Okay, stopping right there. His voice is beautiful. I don't know if this is live or if there's a little bit of sweetening happening, but I am really loving his tone quality. I've of course heard Dimash sing this song. I'm really liking some of his note choices, Piet's note choices. So far, this is just spectacular. Obviously, this young man has got a great voice, so Let's just get into it a little bit more and see what happens next. Here we go. Okay, melt me right now. That is so stinking gorgeous. Oh my goodness, wow. There's just such a, um, I want to say flawless, and again, I, I'm i reserving that because I always love hearing more of the raw voice, for sure, and I'm not sure that's what we're hearing. But what I will say is there's a purity to his sound that is really... I'm speechless. I mean, it's 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 not something that you hear every day. That's for sure. Wow, what a, an extraordinary voice this is. Okay, let's get back in. Here we go. isn't it? Listening to his version as opposed to Dimash, which Dimash's has a much more classical, um, operatic almost kind of approach to it. This is very much more delicate, much more in that pop kind of vein. The variety, he's kind of throwing in that really low note, then he's popping up in just the, the high notes. It's very conversational as well. It's really interesting and very unique. Let's get back in. Here we go. Wow. Hmm. 
pourquoi je crie pourquoi je pleure oh my word this this kid has some pipes wow hmm interesting and it looks really effortless from what I can see, but again, the way the film is shot, everything's very much covered up, and so you cannot really see his larynx. There were some moments in there, especially just in the jaw and everything, the part that I could see. It looks like he is singing live as he's making this video, but it, it's really very difficult to ascertain. I don't want to be a skeptic by any stretch, because obviously he's incredibly talented, but I am also thinking what am I really seeing? What's really going on here? Amazing, beautiful performance. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's keep going. Here we go. Okay, wait a minute, I gotta go back and listen to that again. What just happened there? That was amazing. Holy smokes. I have no words. I don't even know. <laughs> That's like dolphin singing. I mean, it's not even human. I, <laughs> oh my gosh. Whistle tones are one of those things that, I mean, that, that was truly like a whistle. Seriously. That just seems hard to believe that a human being can make that sound come out of them, but he's obviously doing it. So, wow. Okay. Let's finish this song up. Let's see what other surprises he has here. Okay, I've started the whistle tone because I gotta listen to that one more time. Great arrangement. I really like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not that. I am truly just stunned. This kid's voice is just outrageous. That has to be one of the highest notes to ever come out of a human person. What's amazing to me is the way these singers are changing the face of singing. Like they're doing things that you never thought possible. I've been teaching voice for 30 years. This is my 30th year. <laughs> I never thought a human being could make that kind of sound. This is really blowing my mind just a little bit. It really is. I'm not going to lie. Pourquoi je vis? Pourquoi je I really appreciate his ability to express the lyric. I feel like he's a very passionate singer and the tone quality he gets is just so yummy. I really love the note choice there at the beginning of this chorus. It just shows the incredible range this 
singer has. Well, the way he forms his vowels, the way he gets his voice around that, and then makes the, the trek up, up, up into his falsetto. Oh, it's just divine. There's such a delicacy with which he sings and handles the melody line, the lyric, and I really like it a lot. I think that it would be interesting to hear him sing this live. There's definitely a difference in the way you sing in front of a microphone in a studio as opposed to when you're singing in a live performance, much like Dimash did in front of an audience. It would be incredible to hear how he would navigate this if he would make the same choices, the same artistic decisions as he made uh, doing it in this format. Okay, this I think is one of my favorite highlight notes from this. The way he releases and allows the air to escape through this kind of textured space with such precision and yet so much artistry, it's really just jaw-droppingly beautiful. I love how conversational this next section is. And because of the conversational aspect that he's using to stylize this section of the song, he has a lot of vocal variety. So he has the lows and the highs, and it really is like someone who's passionately expressing themselves. It just lends an incredible amount of interest for the listener. And then we get into this section here, and I want you to listen to his use of dynamics. <laughs> He's very much at a piano dynamic marking and then even scales back to a pianissimo dynamic marking. The thing I want to share with you about singing at these very soft dynamic markings is it takes an incredible amount of breath control to do that. You can hear him holding steady with his breath work and he's got room to spare. You don't ever feel like he's about to run out. He's a real master at using his breath to its maximum effect. <laughs> really like that you can see his tongue placement. You can't see a whole lot going on down in his larynx, but you can definitely see that his tongue is flat and forward. He's not allowing it to roll back at all, and he couldn't with what he's trying to do vocally, the gymnastics that he is putting his voice through. It would be really hard to have the amount of flexibility and vocal freedom that he does if he had tongue tension. Obviously, that's not a problem for him. I really love the key change chorus. I really love how clean he sings, and when he adds a little more intensity, he's just even cleaner still. There's just so much connection happening with his vocal folds. He's not losing steam at all. In fact, he's just continually giving and giving and giving and showing that he has more yet to give. There are so many wonderful things 
to love about this young man's voice. I am really very interested to listen to more music from Piet Ariane in the future. So leave a comment down below and let me know what would you like to have me listen to next. Well, that's it for me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Piet Arion. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. Well, what a treat to get to hear this voice today. I am just amazed at what the human voice is capable of. I hope that you will keep finding your voice and making your sound in the world today. The world is is literally waiting for you to show up. And remember, you are loved. Bye guys.